In both Alberta and Saskatchewan, provincial governments have been ramping up attacks on 2S LGBTQIA plus communities, and both provinces have brought out different legislations and policies to attack queer rights. In Saskatchewan, that was Bill 137, and Alberta it was rolled out through policy changes, but in both cases they had similar effects. They mandated the teachers report any changes in preferred names and pronouns to parents whether the child consented or not. And this is a huge problem for a bunch of reasons that I've talked about in the past and I'll link below. And in Alberta, the rules went even further, banning gender-affirming care for anybody under the age of 18. Again, huge problem for a bunch of reasons, link below. But essentially, it boils down to removing the rights of people to receive medical treatment. It's taking away people's choice to take things like puberty blockers or hormones. It's removing freedoms from people. For a government that claims to believe in letting people live their own lives, they seem very intent on restricting the abilities of very specific people to live their own lives. Advocacy groups have been very clear about the dangers of these legislations. They have said in no uncertain terms that these legislations will lead to the deaths of young people. They will lead to further trauma and further harm. And they are not supported by any evidence or research at all. But that didn't stop the governments at all. In fact, it encouraged them because harming 2S LGBTQIA plus people was the whole goal of those rules. In Saskatchewan, UR Pride, along with EGAL Canada, are fighting this legislation in court, even though the provincial government has used the notwithstanding clause in order to force the rules through. They even called an emergency session of the legislature in order to ram this legislation through. They were really motivated to shut down the ability of young people to live their lives. And now, Pride Regina, Pride Prince Albert, as well as 14 major Pride organizations throughout Alberta, have announced that they're banning representatives of the Saskatchewan Party or the UCP at their Pride events this year. They are no longer willing to be used as props by politicians who are actively working against the interests of queer communities. And don't get me wrong, politicians from both provinces have been eager to use Pride events to make themselves look good whenever it was convenient. Scott Moe marched in Pride in 2019. Although marched is a generous term, he didn't actually get out of his truck, he just sort of waved from the window. Danielle Smith actually quite proudly marched in 2014 as a member of the Wild Rose Party. She even carried their banner. She actually suggested that the Wild Bros Party's moves against 2S LGBTQIA plus people were a big part of why she walked away from the party in the first place. But again, she's abandoned those views completely because they only have beliefs of convenience. Although perhaps the most ridiculous response to this came from Saskatchewan's Education Minister Jeremy Cockrell who shared the fact that he was disappointed. Now, of course, while he was sharing his disappointment, he did also share that he'd never been to a Pride parade, had no intentions of going to Pride, and didn't even know when Pride was. He was just disappointed he wasn't invited. It's like a bully complaining they didn't get invited to a grade school birthday party of the person they bully. Of course you didn't get invited. You're the one they're trying to get away from. And I think this was really highlighted this week with the Rainbow Week of Action, organized by Faye Johnston. Fate tried to get leaders, politicians, and other community groups to sign on for the Rainbow Pledge to stand up for 2S LGBTQIA plus rights. Bunch of people signed on, bunch of politicians signed on, and not one single member of the Federal Conservative Party signed on. Not one. And I think that tells you everything you need to know. It's very clear whose rights they're coming for. Women. 2S LGBTQIA plus people other vulnerable groups. They just move from target to target in the perpetual culture war. And we need to put an end to it and Pride groups from Saskatchewan and Alberta standing up to bullies and refusing to allow them to join in at Pride is a powerful message. So shout out to these Pride groups. You should be, you know, proud, more than usual, of lots of stuff. You, you, you folks rock.